I'm starting to feel like I'm never not going to lose to Taylor. And it hurts me deep, deep inside. If uh, you don't know what this is about, over on Patreon, Taylor and I have a competition to see who can get the most $1 votes. We vote for Taylor for a dollar, helps him punish me. Vote for me with a dollar, helps me punish him. Whoever has the most at the end of the month gets to choose a bad movie to make the other person watch. This month is Jack and Jill. We had our own secret language that only me and my brother understood. I guess we were kids, we thought we were whales. This is like the worst version of the Scar Scar Brothers act. This is this is really bad. I wonder if this is scripted or if it's actually just real twins talking about being twins. <laughs> like when things are bad and we don't really got to say anything to each other, we just make these sounds. It's like, ah, ah. So I just graduated from Harvard and... Who doesn't know what ah means? That's... You don't have to be a twin. I'm starting <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but farts are like super funny. The house is gonna be very crowded because we got the kids and all the guests are coming by and blah blah blah. So there's this new hotel, a Hilton, that is just. But I want to spend time with Sophie and Gary. Why do you not want me to stay with you? Am I wrong, or is that blah blah blah? The way Adam Sandler does exposition in almost all of his movies. Like maybe I'm just making that up, but I feel like that happens often. I thought you could sit down here. I always sit next to Jack. Is there a reason I'm moving? No. Jill, if you'd like, you could sit here. Okay. How? Where is he? Oh, he's in front of me. How much longer until I look like that? If I just don't do anything. I know the hair's probably going to take about a year. But I feel like the beard's getting pretty close. I don't know if I should take this as a wake-up call or a challenge. I mean, looking homeless and not being homeless is a bad thing, right? What? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's it. That's it. I'm going. I am going. I hope you're happy. I'm sleeping out here in the woods. At least the animals will be nice. Oh! No, see, the kids love you. I, and I love them. And that's the only reason that I come back here every year. Jack, apologize. I'm sorry that you make everybody uncomfortable. I really am. Jack. I feel like one extra scene of her running through the door and into the woods would have made that a lot clearer of what was happening. Because this feels like a dream, which I guess potentially could still be, but I don't think so. I think this is actually happening. All right, I'm sorry about what I said back there. I didn't mean it. I, I, I love you. I just feel abandoned. I'm all alone in the Bronx. I don't have any family with me anymore. We didn't abandon you. I told you, you can Skype us anytime you want. I don't even know what that means. What is Skype? It sounds anti-Semitic. What is it? It's just this internet thing. I don't well, get that. You know I don't have a calculator. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? See, here's the thing about Adam Sandler. I think in the 90s, he was funny or considered funnier because his humor was based on making fun of people who were different, who are, you know, a foreigner or a homeless person or disabled or just dumb in general. And they were kind of always the butt of the jokes. But now, moving forward in the 2018 when that's not really acceptable like people would be really upset if he was continuing to still do that i think he struggles trying to find the joke or the punchline like he the setups feel similar but they don't make any sense like why does jill think skype is something you use on the internet through a calculator she just it's like it doesn't it doesn't track there's no there's no setup for that there's no that's a payoff to no joke that was established and so 
not having a target to be like, oh, you're dumb because of whatever thing. We're going to laugh at you now. You don't have a, a reason to make that person that dumb. Then you're just kind of like, what? And why? And I mean, based on this and uh, the last week. No, not the last week. The week of. It's just like uncomfortable family humor. And again, that's that's not a fun thing. <laughs> that's not a... <coughs> That's not a fun thing. I would love to know if someone loves this movie. Like, like there's got to be somebody, right? Like, this has got to be somebody's favorite movie. I just, I want to meet that person. I do a great impression of a tree. See, again, look, he is a caricature. But he's not the butt of the joke. She is. So he's he's trying to follow the same formula that they used to do, but are taking away the what made that funny. And I'm not saying you should make fun of you know people from other places or dis- disabled people or anything like that. I mean, that's not the point. But that's the joke he's making. He's just directing the punchline somewhere else, and that's that's why it doesn't work. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh, strong. All right. Jay Leno better watch his back. You know it. <laughs> nice to meet you, senorita. Okay, thank you. Identical or for... There are so many good actors in this movie that if you cut out Adam Sandler and his twin sister, him and him, uh, this movie would be way better. I want to just watch Tim Meadows try to get Al Pacino to shield Al Pacino's cappuccinos. Like, that seems like a way better movie than this. I don't know what I'm gonna wear! Oh, I'll help you, I'll help you. I'm freaking out, I feel like Julia Roberts in that movie. Pretty Woman. No, 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 the one where she's a hooker. What's the name of that one? Uh, Pretty Woman. No, 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 why are you saying that? That joke, again. See, like, I just, <laughs> I don't even, I, it's not fun. These, I hate Taylor. That's what it is. Oh, no. She'll be right down. No, 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 it's one zip, it's one zip. All right. right. Norm MacDonald is one of the funniest people alive. And I get that they're all on SNL together, but this just kind of breaks my heart. You fun bucket? Yeah, that's me. You don't look like a... Um, should I take away your salads? Oh, I think he's just waiting for his to cool off so we'll just um just a few more minutes and thank you i get you're supposed to feel bad for her but i can't i just hate her we're so close here hey we got us in the game what's uh what's going on with the beer i didn't realize that johnny depp was allowed to not be the weirdest part of the movie. I thought that was like part of his contract that any movie he's in, he has to be the cringiest part. Body in movies, but I hear you're very serious. Oh, you know. Okay. Hey, is Ryan Seacrest here? Have you seen him? Do you know him? I'm sorry, who crest? Ow. Would you ever? Why? This scene seems very unnecessary to have a green screen. Just don't put the players behind him. Just move him somewhere else in frame like this. This looks really bad. You just do this for me? You know, maybe I'll be ready to date again in a few weeks. We'll sit and talk about it on New Year's. Ah! New Year's! I just... I just... I don't... I don't know... I don't know why anything in this movie is happening. I don't. I'm just so sad. (laughs) But you're not going to be here on New Year's because that's after our birthday, which is when you're leaving. (laughs) I met my father. Oh, I knew that was going to be big. (laughs) Well, don't throw it out. We can make a birthday candle with it. Yeah, 
that's the other thing I don't get about Adam Sandler acting is he, he he's pretty consistently the straight character as in not the jokey character not the comedic character but he's like so annoyed that he just comes off as bored which I think transfers to the people watching the movie if you are if he's kind of your your doorway or whatever you want to call it into this world and he's just like whoa this is crazy this is insane oh you know just like bored and sarcastic and exasperated all the time you kind of take that on yourself too hey we're only 40 minutes late guys i hope they sing happy birthday to us yeah i hope we still have our table this why is it so dark in here (laughs) (laughs) all right nice to meet you all what's the Tybo guy's name billy Billy Blanks? Billy... Like, I feel like he is too big for this movie. Am I crazy or is she hot? You're crazy. It's Jack. Don't be startled. It's only me. <laughs> is there something wrong with me that I'm more surprised about the Tybo guy than I am Al Pacino being in this movie? Because I didn't consider that about Al Pacino when that all popped up. <laughs> This is another thing that happened in the week of they just kept abusing the old guy who didn't have legs. Like I just don't understand the process of writing this movie. Like who who's like, oh yeah, we we definitely need elderly abuse. That's hysterical. It just And and the frustrating part is it's I don't even think it's bad. I don't think there's anything wrong with having an accident happen to an old person in a movie. Like, it could be funny, but you're not establishing anything. You're just, just doing it. Like, haha, look at this. Haha, look at this. Haha, look at this. It's just dumb. It's a waste of time. Did I get it? I'm, well, I end up talking to lemon trees. You know what? I'm lost now. What is Jill? Yes. See, look. It's just, it's just so bad. They write dumb lines for Al Pacino, and then Adam Sandler's like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand what you mean. Like, I'm lost. Why, why do that to your own movie? One, don't give dumb lines. Two, don't act like the lines are dumb, and people aren't gonna feel as like you're just wasting your their time like it, it just feels like adam sandler is saying like why why are you watching this this is dumb don't you know like you're really gonna watch this the news for me it's not warm to be the holiday season but thank you i really had an amazing time uh, too bad you're taking off tonight is that guy even mexican what was his name felipe <clears throat> nope, he is Mexican. All right, I'm wrong. Let's look at some of the trivia for this movie. This is the first movie in Razzie history to win in every category. Worst picture, worst director, worst actor, worst actress, worst supporting actor, worst supporting actress, worst screen couple, worst prequel, remake, ripoff of a sequel, worst screenplay, Worst screen ensemble. And it holds the record for most Razzie awards. Adam Sandler was paid $20 million to make this. $20 million. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Al Pacino, when he was speaking French, it was just gibberish. And uh, the, <laughs> the baker just responds as, I don't understand. <sighs> All right, can't put this off any longer. Still 35 more minutes to go. I am not talking to you! I am 
talking to Aaron. Aaron, I gotta go make some chocolate squirties. Oh, God. Hey, Jill, can I talk to you for a second? No! My bags are packed and there's nothing left to <laughs> say! Like, is it funny? Am I wrong? Did... I just don't understand... F so many fart jokes. They're never funny in movies. I get the idea of in real life, ah, it's funny because it's like, it's awkward for someone, they're embarrassed, and you can laugh at them for it. Like, that's one thing. But like this, what, what's the, what's, what's the joke about it? What's the, what's the, <laughs> why, why? Uh, I spent the day at Felipe's picnic where I finally felt welcome <laughs> by everybody. I tried this new food for the very first time. <laughs> Epe treated me like a... What is evil? Look, Can he... Look at, look at his response. He... His character hates this. I, it's just so dumb. Evil doing wheelies in there? What, what, what? It's a... <laughs> So that's where the twenty million dollars came from. Just Caribbean. It's just a. It's just a. It's just a commercial. <coughs> it's just a commercial for their cruise. Is his plan to have sex with Al Pacino? Why does he need to shave his whole chest? There you say. Oh yes, he's an author. I forgot. That's right. He's got a whole novel in him about Desinex foot powder. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's the brown girl coming back. You take back what you said about Pagogo! Go ahead, do it. Defend the honor of that self-deluded, sycophantic, bitter hack. What is this? Why? Why is this? What is this? Oh, you, you okay? Get yeah. off of me! Okay. Okay. I just climbed out of the trunk of my cousin's car after driving 1,100 miles across the border. Huh? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's that's the like the fifth time they reuse that joke. And. Um, I just oh. destroy them. You want me to play the game? Has anybody seen this? Nobody has seen this. Okay. They have to be found and talked to. All right. To be honest, I showed my wife. No she good. couldn't believe. <laughs> no good. <laughs> so I used to be fatter, and so what he would picture him way bigger, like. So yeah. what would happen? We'd get together on Thanksgiving. He'd kind of gather the family around, and and so I would. We're done. Twins. Yes. Keep him. Let's go. Get this pin. Well, that killed my spirit. I um not a fan of that movie. <clears throat> 
I've been trying to figure out what the story arc was. Um, Jack doesn't like his sister and realizes that he's a jerk. Then he does like his They're just... I just don't know what, why, it, what it... Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it happened. And the whole thing was about getting Al Pacino to be in this commercial. They make the commercial. It's bad. Al Pacino's like, this can't go out. We can't use this. Burn this. And that's the end of the movie. Um, I mean, he gets... He reestablishes his relationship with his sister, but... <clears throat> this felt <coughs> this felt like payback for Tammy and the T-Rex not being so bad I'm gonna go cry now <laughs>